some of you may know that I'm currently in the process of winding my way through 1,700 pages of internal emails, briefing notes, documents, receipts regarding Justin Trudeau's embarrassing 2018 trip through India, and I think I'm being nice there. At Rebel News, we've already uncovered Trudeau's bureaucrats pressuring an Indian hotel to help them hide their expensive hotel rooms from auditors. Their hotel rooms went over their allowable expense limits, so they wanted the hotel to obscure the increased cost by billing for the cost of a an additional suite that they never planned to use. So charge more for that room they never planned to use and then use that to offset the bureaucrats' rooms' costs on paper and we pay for it all. What a scam. To see that story, to see the supporting documents, to sign our petition to the Auditor General and to help offset the legal costs to have a lawyer file an official complaint to the Auditor General, please visit audittrudeau.com. But there are still so many more scandals to be uncovered in these documents, including Trudeau's booze spending in India. And we know these Trudeau trips are just liquor soaked. Remember this one? Justin Trudeau spent $370,000 on food and catering and another $3,200 on booze on just six trips in the government Airbus in 2019. Well, the India trip was no different, obviously. Look at this email from one planning bureaucrat to another about the extra purchase of alcohol for Justin Trudeau's trip to India. It's for a reception event held by Trudeau when he gets there in India. The bureaucrats are going back and forth about requiring supporting documents for the alcohol purchases because apparently it was a lot of booze. Look at this. As for the reason of the extra purchase of alcohol, it was because the Airbus could not hold the amount. And then we find out they didn't send the proper amount of whiskey either. Look at this. HQ didn't increase the Crown Royal or single malt to make up for the Johnny Walker black bottles that were in our initial request. Hence, we purchased more Crown Royal at Kanza and additional beer, just in case. In Trudeau's well-kept world, an Airbus aircraft isn't big enough to carry the amount of booze He demands for his parties that we're all paying for. But that's not all. In our research, we also found the costs of the liquor that was shipped out on the Airbus. It's on page 897. Costs of the liquor that was shipped in for Trudeau's event via the Airbus added up to 3,815 bucks. And how many boxes of booze was this? Well, it's on page 899, 16 boxes of alcohol for the Mumbai reception increased from 14 and 39 boxes for the New Delhi party shipped over for Trudeau. And this doesn't even include the alcohol for consumption on the plane, according to the email at the bottom of page 898. All of the reception box labels have been printed on white paper. We will use the green paper for the alcohol which is to be served on the Airbus, so there's no confusion here. Now we're still going through this 1700 page document package and I have a handful of stories about misspending still to come. If you'd like to see what I've uncovered so far and support our legal efforts to have the Auditor General take a look into the India trip and the expense abuses we've uncovered, please donate today and sign our petition at audittrudeau.com. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. At Rebel News, we've uncovered what we think is serious misspending at the hands of Trudeau's bureaucrats on the India trip. They pressured a hotel to overcharge on one room and thus undercharge on the rooms for the bureaucrats so that they could get their rooms under the allowable expense amount. It sure looks improper and we'd like the Auditor General to investigate, to sign our petition and to support our legal cost to file an official legal complaint to the Auditor General. Please go to audittrudeau.com.